In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get max FPS in Fortnite Copy PC Game 4. Because as you may know, Fortnite has been pretty spent by a lot this season because of the fall and all the people I. Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can fix all your FPS problems and some extra paint problems, like how you can reduce your paint.
Alright, so your first step would be to go into your library, Epic Games, and then just, uh, just find your Fortnite game. You see here, mine, um, now please don't mind how much I play. I, I really play Fortnite a lot. Uh, so you click on these three dots, scroll down, and see options. Click on that, and you see this. Fortnite 4 Battle Royale is required. Keep that on. But please turn up high resolution textures. They'll just ruin, they'll just make you your performance lesser. They'll be, it'll give you lesser FPS and it'll take up more more of your memory. But 728 GB? Nah bro, I'm gonna pass. What I save the world doesn't really matter. Uh, you need and you need to print this. If you have saved the world and you really like playing it and if you want to play it for PSs, then keep this button ticked. If not, then you just turn it off. I don't have save the world, I was about to buy it, but I didn't buy it, so I put that on fly. And uh yeah, so this is what's on the tip. That's good. Now the next tips for ping. So you, mainly you wanna try and get zero ping. What I recommend for console and PC is that you use an internet connection. Either you can use like some like super long cable or you just um or you just like have your router next to you and just connect it. It's way better than playing wired. Wireless, sorry. And um, if you're playing on controller, then like find a 10 foot cable or whatever and then just connect it to your controller wired. It causes lesser input delay. If you're on controller, you can overclock the controller. I'm not going to show the method today because this is mostly on keyboard controller, but I can also think on a PS4 controller to clock. Um, anyways. So another tip for pin, um, this is only for PC. Um, actually, I think you can change it on your PlayStation as well. So what you have to do is go into a control panel. So I'm gonna tell you to change your DNS server. Your DNS server uh, is actually automatic, and you need to change that so that your pin becomes lower. So you can go in here. So this is my internet. I is connection is Ethernet, so I'm gonna click that. You go into properties here and then you will see this. Click on internet protocol version four, double click on it, and then um, this will come up. So here you don't need to do this IP address or anything. For DNS server address, use the following, okay? Do the menu. So the preferred DNS so I'm gonna first show you Google's DNS server, which is one of the best. Google is super fast. So, uh, the DNS server for Google, the proper DNS server should be 8888, and alternate should be 8844. And then next is Cloud Flares. So, what you have to do is press 1, next space, which has to be 1, next space, which has to be 1, and next space, which has to be 1. And same for alternate DNS server. Um, keep this on one and keep this on one. So both have to be on one. Personally, both of them uh, pretty much have the same speed. But I'm going to use Google's because it's more trusted and like, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to use Blackboard or whatever. In, in my room, I can carry them. So you can just go in here and then just change your work. It's super easy to do. And it won't harm anything on your computer. It's it's safe and you can use it. It won't do any harm to your internet connection. It will just reduce your pain by a very little bit, like one, like 0.1 milliseconds. But still, that's a big difference in Fortnite competitive. Like, come on, man. Basically, AMD radio on Facebook. Just turn it on. It's like super useful. So 
provides smooth responsive gameplay by updating the display as new tape become available. The car is the MD sync component of the display. Virtual super resolution um it just makes it easier for players. I don't think I should use it. Um but if you want to use it you can. I don't want to use it. So you can you can also put custom resolutions. I don't want to because I don't want to get stretched around. So I just need that. But actually when I before um before uh, chapter three, I thought um uh, before chapter three season four, I thought the stress resolution stretch less was the best. That's why I bought this monitor, so I could have the option to make custom resolution. I'm not gonna do that, okay? Because it's chapter three season four. It's very bad for you. I kept it at 94. I want to keep it at 90 actually. 
and the decimal quantity should be on one, which is medium, and then the rest here is VX11 settings. So put all of that at zero because of the mass and the multiple. Then scroll down. Mesh quality is one is high meshes and zero is low meshes. So you can just go here and you see everything, and then just the normal settings. And then you can close it and save it. Then you can change this over here to read only. And click on apply. And then press press OK. Now you can close this and your step is done. Another tip in Fortnite is uh, is to reduce ping by a lot. Like seriously, you're gonna see a lot of improvement. So you go into settings, go into your game settings, and you see your matchmaking region. Don't set it on auto. Set it on the server which gives you the least millisecond response time. For me, it is Middle East, but for you, it could be something else. Maybe Europe, Oceania, Brazil, Asia, Nor NA East, or NA West. Don't select auto because what auto does it puts you in a server which has more stable ping But it might be further away from you causing higher ping But if you keep it on the server which has the least in milliseconds It will give you the least ping and the least input delay Anyways, um, I also have an update to show you in the item shop today, bro There's literally a skin called abyss like oh what what's with that bro it looks bro she looks like momoshiki otsutsuki bro that's the golden rinnegan that's the golden rinnegan bro that's the golden rinnegan momoshiki otsutsuki bro where's kinshiki where you got kinshiki where you got kinshiki bro tell me where you got kinshiki my guy <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I'm so close to getting 250 subscribers. If I do, I would be super grateful and I would be in your debt because I've been working hard and I've been on the grind for anime edits. And anyways, without further ado, see you all. Bye.